Check this sound out. Pretty cool, right? Well, according to the European Space Agency, <clears throat> Captain's Log, 67P. The comet studied by our Rosetta mission seems to be emitting a song in the form of oscillations in a magnetic field in the comet's environment. It is being sung at 40 to 50 millihertz, far below human hearing, which typically picks up sound between 20 hertz and 20 kilohertz. To make the music audible to the human ear, the frequencies have been increased by a factor of about 10,000. I don't know what any of that means, but uh, it's a cool sound, so let's make a song out of it. Now before I get started, I've had several comments complaining about the low frequency uh, noise that my microphone is emitting, and I'm fully aware of it. This whole time I just thought it was my air conditioner, and I thought that I was just forgetting to turn it off. However, I have now realized, when I pick the microphone up, it goes away. Now, if you weren't aware of that, I probably just ruined your day. So, my bad. However, I've ordered a microphone arm, so next video, we won't have to deal with it. But for this one, not much I can do. So, <laughs> just enjoy the sweet, sweet sound of... Okay, let's get started. So here's our sound. On some Predator vibes. So I was playing around with the sound earlier and um, I kind of just went ahead and started without filming. And I created this cool little pattern here. I'll run, run you through it, turn all the effects off and I, I sort of just stretched and cut the uh, pattern up into this. From there I just ran through and added some stuff. Just some stuff and some crap. For stuff, have a nice little OTT on here, just to, just to kind of, a little simple EQing going on here. Put a low pass just to get some movement up in here. Uh, a little formant filter on here, giving it kind of a scrapey sound. as if you're like just crashing two rocks against each other. Then on top of that, I have a portal and a frequency shifter for some uh, robotronic effects, which we have all come to know and love. I'm doing what I always do in portal, which is just pitch automation through here. I have the size at one to five and the density at 1 16th, and we're not stretching or doing any grain delaying here. It's just kind of messing around with the pitch. And when I do that, we have this. <laughs> That's all I've done so far. I don't know. I was just kind of messing around before I even decided to start filming, but we're going to pick it up from here and take off. So let's go. So I'm not really going to craft much of an intro here. I feel like just the original sound is cool enough. And then um, I recorded this super dope uh, pre-drop vocal here. It's an asteroid. Is it an asteroid? I mean, they called it a comet, but uh, I'm just going to call it an asteroid because asteroid sounds way cooler than Comet. So let's just go ahead and toss that on here, pitch it down. It's an asteroid. And then I was thinking like, try and bit crush it a little bit. It's an asteroid, it's an asteroid, it's an asteroid. That's pretty dope. Maybe we'll just wash out the original uh, Comet sound. Sorry, excuse me, asteroid sound. It's an asteroid, it's an. I've gone ahead and resampled the uh, sound that we made earlier. It's an asteroid. Okay, so I got a kick drum in here and I'm gonna add a snare. I'm thinking like kind of a, a snappy dubstep snare as opposed to uh, like a more trappy snare. So let's see what I can find here. This one sounds kind of cool. It's an asteroid. Get a little side chain action going up in here. I'm gonna layer the uh, resampled sound here. See if we can give it some extra pajank. All right, so I'm just gonna lay down a super basic drum arrangement here. Next, let's get a sub. So I'm gonna make the sub follow the pattern of the asteroid sound by just giving it a little bit of modulation down here. Let's make the sub follow the sort of like little falling pattern that the asteroid is doing. So I'm just gonna yank this down to like fing five or something to see if we can make the pattern follow it into the depths of 
shit. So through automating the pitch of the sub bass, we can create the same pattern that the Comet synth is doing, where it's just kind of falling down a little bit through the frequency shifter. Although here I'm just automating the pitch from uh, the pitch knob in Serum. I kind of feel like a, a splashy hi-hat would work in here because it's more of just like a, a bopping, you're just kind of bopping along and like a, instead of like a tight, like a tight little small hi-hat, I think like a, a nice bigger, splashier, uplifting one would work. So uh, let's go ahead and slap that along right there. Kind of makes it sound like this. For like a chant, I don't know, I think something like, like a cool little hey chant would work, but um, basically what I've done here is I've just taken the, uh, I've taken the, the troid part of the vocal where, where it says asteroid, I took the troid and then sort of uh, tightened up the transients and pitched it up a little bit, so now it sounds like this. And then uh, for the end over here, we can just redo the vocal. I'm thinking like a, kind of like a, it, 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 like a, <laughs> like a, it, it, like a, f why can't I say this? It, it's in, at the end, so it's like, dun, dun, tsh, dun, 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 tsh, it, it's in, uh, I'm just gonna play this, so it'll make more sense. Stretch this out a touch so it fits a little bit better. And then on the second part here, we can take the vocal and then create sort of, instead of just the troid on the offbeats, we can make like, it, it, it's an asteroid, it, it, it's an asteroid, be like kind of a background vocal, so it sounds like this. And then I'll uh, try and find something to layer over here, probably just like a siren or something in the background. Slap that here, turn it way the f*** down, pitch it up a little bit. Maybe also we can add like a a fast uh, hat pattern underneath here, so it's like... Yeah, yeah, a little double time hat action here. And then, okay, so for this third part here, I just took the sample that we made earlier and I put a third one down here. And all I did was uh, added like just a touch of distortion on it, layered it over everything else, and it's essentially the same thing. It's just got a little bit of that crunch layered on top. A uh, couple reverb automations in here. For the finishing part here, where it repeats again, I'm gonna take the it, it's an asteroid and pitch it up. Uh, lastly, we can take the it's from the it's an asteroid and just select one part of here, part of it here, and stretch it out a little bit, and um, so it sounds like this, and then add an atrocious amount of reverb. We can resample that and reverse it and put it right up next to where the actual vocal sample comes in. And then on the intro, it'll sound like this. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and check off and make a song out of sounds from a comet off my to-do list today. And also we're calling it an asteroid because asteroids are cooler and we're asteroid gang up in here. So anyways, in honor of the asteroid gang, I will be playing the, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna play the song now for sake. It's an asteroid. Sick. All right, NASA. Um, my schedule's open. You can hire me whenever. Just uh, call my people and, you know, we can get to work. Send me to f space or whatever. I'm ready to get off this planet anyways. All right. Well, uh, thank you guys for watching. And uh, I think this is a fun scientific episode that we just completed here. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. Perhaps even consider subscribing. Uh, we're almost 69,000. <laughs> You know what that means. We are 31,000 away from 100,000. That is so much math. All right, you guys, I'll see you over on twitch.tv slash eliminate HQ. Um, come hop in the Discord if you haven't yet. The link is below. That's it. See you next time. Thanks for watching.
Brooklyn Asteroid. <laughs>